This is Canada Reads American Style, featuring two friends who love Canada Reads and Canadian literature. Welcome our host, Rebecca from Michigan and Tara from Ontario. Hi, everyone. It is Rebecca, and I am here with Tara, but we have, of, co- of course, one of our favorite guests of all time back again for a quick wrap-up of Canada Reads, and we have Mark Tewksbury with us, and we're going to ask him a couple of questions, and then we're going to do a some, little something else, but we just want to <laughs> welcome you back, Mark. Thank you so much for coming back and chatting with us. Under much less hostile conditions, <laughs> I must say, holy man, you two are partly responsible for changing my trajectory towards my preparation for Canada Reads, by the way. I was so shocked to be voted off first by both of you. Oh and I had to really pull out my socks. <laughs> and uh, and then that same night, I had a mock Canada Reads with friends. I, we literally assigned people the books, and they all read Washington Black as well, and I lost that. I actually got my butt handed to me in that <laughs> debate by another friend and it was a huge eye opener and it changed the last three weeks of my preparation entirely wow oh my gosh i mean gosh well and you know it's fine so thanks a lot i know <laughs> But think of it this way. One of the things I, I was telling Tara, we, we, you really are our Canada Reads hero because you nailed it so much. We cannot get over how spectacular you were on the whole, during the whole week. And by, I mean, you had me sold after our interview, actually, because I really, we afterwards, we were like, no, we really think he's going to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you did. So Thank holy you. baloney, you did. So Thank you. Okay, so it was kind of unwinnable, though, don't you think? Like, oh my gosh, it was Five Little Indians year. I, I have to just say, sometimes, even the, you know, it's it's about the book, of course, and it's also about the context of where we are in the world, etc. So, but it was a, I, I appreciated so much that Christian didn't make it about that from the beginning yeah. of the week. Yeah. And Tarek didn't make it about the Ukrainian refugees. I really, I think there were many elements that made it a good Canada Reads. And I think that was one of them. You know, those two guys could have really played heavily into their issue, issue, and, and made it not about the book. And neither did, which was yeah. amazing. Yeah. 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 Um, I have to say, Mark, you said that we changed your trajectory. It is true what Rebecca said. When we finished... The inter- our first interview with you, I both I went. Wait a minute! I'm like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I am wrong. <laughs> I'm like, he is going to kill it. Washington Black is not going off first. Yeah. Thank you. So, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You know what? I feel like um, getting to third was amazing. Yep. And I almost feel like, in hindsight, gee. What would it have been like to speak against five little Indians for an hour? I, I'm glad I didn't have to do that. You know what yeah. I mean? It just, it, in the end of the day, and, and I loved it. It was quite fun. It's a very different role when you're not in it anymore. That was also fun. I'm glad I only did do it for one day. I said to Suzanne, I really admired that she had to do that for so many days because it's it's not an easy thing to have to do. Yeah. Well, it's funny too, because uh, the podcast we did after you got voted off I started the podcast, I think, and I said something like, you know, it was difficult for me to see, you know, my couple of books that I wanted to see finished higher up. I was disappointed they got voted off. And I said, I said, but I'm not going to lie. Now I'm mad. (laughs) When you got voted (laughs) off, I was mad because I totally agree that it is the context and I think is what's going on in the world at the time really plays a big part in that. But to me, if you went just sheer you know, um, ability to defend a book to the highest level, in my mind, you won Canada Reads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you and, so much, Rebecca. Yeah. I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> and I, you know what? My, my work, I loved, loved, loved the experience. It surprised me. I, I mean, I kind of knew what I was getting into and I had no idea at the same time. And I really adored it. It was like the intellectual Olympics for me. I got to flex my brain and have fun and show up, you know, as best prepared as I could. And I, I because of that, I think I just loved it. And also, we want to mention that you did a great uh, video with Bookworm Adventure Girl, our good friend Jolene, and we're going to link to it so you can get more information about how Mark prepared for the competition, because it is absolutely fascinating. (laughs) And I'm telling you, your when you put your initials on that, your, oh my gosh, 
and yeah. Essie's are on the back. You know, we shared it together. Well, it's because I knew Christian was going to show up, and Malia too, all fashionable and glittery. And I was like, "Look, you two! I look plain, but look at my notebooks." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my I god. know your notebooks are inspiring me. I was like after the video, I was like, I have to decorate my journals. Like wine are just clean. <laughs> I'm like, I've got to do something. <laughs> I had to get them ready for battle. I don't you know what I mean? I don't do that to all my journals. So you're clear. You're clear. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but if you see a journal with Tara written across it, you know what's mine. And you was inspired. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. <laughs> Okay, so I think, Mark, this is actually a good segue into our first question, because you said we're talking about how much fun you had at Canada Reads, but what was your favorite thing about the entire experience? Can you pick one? I really can't. I just, it will go down in my memory. Really, it's like I was an Olympic swimmer. I won the Olympics. I was head of the Olympic team and I was on an icebreaker for, for nine days on Canada's 150th anniversary. And I was on Canada Reads. Like it's one of those kind of top experiences of my life that I will just treasure. And Essie and I are truly friends. Um, you you want to hear the most outrageous thing? You know, I've got my library card and I love the yeah. library, all of that legacy. I'm going to be a first reader for Essie in the future. No. <laughs> yes. I hope she doesn't mind that I shared that, but that's because she really, like I got her writing and, and I said to her, if you ever want somebody to read and she said, okay, I'm taking you up on it. So that is a legacy that will last my oh lifetime. My God, lifetime. Oh my God. Goosebumps. I did yeah. get goosebumps. Goosebumps. Yes. Oh I know. Yeah. That's so, amazing. Essie, if you're listening, I'm sorry I made that public, but I love you. And, yeah. you know, I just had to, it is the greatest legacy of the experience. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, my question for you is, you know, again, Tara and I talked a lot on our podcast about the impact that you had on the whole Canada Reads experience. I mean, again, you just, you raised the bar so high. So I want to know, have you fully grasp the impact that you had on the Canada Reads <laughs> fans because you were all over social media like crazy on the Facebook group everywhere everyone was talking about you and do you, did you get that sense were you even aware of all of that I wasn't honestly into the, I'm even like la I, you should see me I'm laughing right now because I don't even really know what you're talking about because <laughs> it's like a, it's very similar to again the Olympics like you go do your thing and you're in your silo and you know people are watching and talking but I was just in the zone and I didn't look at anything at all so thank you that's great and and we got people talking that's awesome yeah. Well, and I want to say too, the clearly the piece of it that was the most important in this, because I'm in the Facebook group and of course on on our Bookstagram account and everything. But here's the thing, you and all of you, because I think all of you did a phenomenal job. I mean, you called out um, oh, know, yeah. Christian's work yeah. and Suzanne yeah, and, to, and, or, and and Malia. <laughs> I mean, the oh only gosh. person that could yeah. go and do the final the way that it was done was Malia. She yeah. she had the innocence of being 15. She was biracial. It was, she was the most articulate young person. She was like mm -hmm. perfect for the final against Christian. If I wasn't going to be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's the thing that you had all of us talking about, which was this year, you all five of you, but especially you made it about the book. You guys dug deep. You pulled out those gems that we wanted to hear. And that is what had everyone so excited. And across social media, we, everybody was saying, this is the best one ever. People that have watched it for years said this was the best one ever. So thank oh, you seriously yeah. for that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I just, you know, I hope it keeps going that way because it was sure fun to do it that way. Awesome. Okay, Mark, we recently, Rebecca and I started a new feature on the po podcast called Reader Repartee, in which we <laughs> have a list of five questions that we've been asking fellow readers to answer because we love hearing about other people's uh, favorite books and their reading experiences. You are our first celebrity reader repartee. <laughs> we think it's oh, amazing. We are Ooh. so excited that we have like a celebrity reader repartee. Yay. Oh, that's so, oh, so fun. Okay, here we let's, go. Uh, let's start qu the questions. First, how did you become a reader? You know, I became a reader through the school system. Thank you to public education. I remember 
being brought in a little circle when Dick meets Jane and Jane has dog spot, you know, that series and then moving into Curious George and then into the Hardy Boys, you know, just kind of moving yeah. through the ranks of series and reading and library at school. And my mom was a reader. She always worked a couple jobs to pay for my swimming and she had books on the go. Um, but yeah, so I just came to it really naturally through the school system. So thank you to, to that. Nice. I love hearing that about public school. Yay. That's yeah. good. So next question, what book do you wish you could read again for the first time and experience again for the first time? Hmm. I struggle with this question. It's such a hard one. You knew you th throw some zingers in these five questions. <laughs> I tell you, you know, I went for the fountainhead by Anne Rand. Yeah. Oh. And I don't know if I read it again. I actually read Atlas Shrugged again, like the entire whatever 900 pages or whatever it is of print that's like, you know, six. <laughs> anyway, um, but I think if I read The Fountainhead now, I'd be really curious to see what I thought of it. I really was blown away by it and frustrated by it, by Howard Rourke's integrity when I read it the first time. And his he's just Oh, he, he, he clung to his ideas to the detriment of everything in his life. And it was so extreme. And, you know, who would have thought that kind of some of those ideas would make their way into modern American politics? Mm -hmm. So that's why I wonder how I would feel about it today. But that's the book I chose. Ooh, great answer. Okay. What is your favorite opening sentence? <laughs> Once upon a time. Oh, oh, Mark. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. That was like just the most beautiful yep. thing. Seriously. I surprised you guys. You I love did. it. <laughs> and here's the thing. After we hang up from the interview, I mean, when we're done, I'm going to offline tell you what my favorite one is, and you're going to be blown away because it is 180 degree different from yours. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Okay. So the next question, number four, what is your favorite book cover? Well, you know, I thought I would use this opportunity to say that I love to read, but I also love to collect, to go into used bookstores and find gorgeous coffee table books or books Ooh. of photography or film. And I found this gem in Toronto called The Art of the Hollywood Backdrop. And it's in a box, um, not, it's not a box set, but it's got like a box around the book itself and it's a scene from the wizard of oz on the front of it as the four of them are leaving the forest and entering the poppies and so you've got that bright red of the poppies and then the dark and the brown and the greens and blues of the trees in the back with Dorothy and the cowardly lion and the scarecrow and the tin man pointing towards oz and it's so gorgeous so i had to say you know i, I just think that I, I had to go with that okay and we will link we will link to that also uh in the in the notes because i think everyone's now going to want to look at that book for cool sure. it's yeah. published yeah. by regan arts okay. and it's by richard m isaacs i-s-a-c-k-e-s -E and karen l manis m-a-n-e-s-s -S. Okay, great. Thank it's a you. gorgeous book, The Art of the Hollywood Backdrop. When I found it in a secondhand, I'm sorry, this is Rob's birthday, my, my partner's, uh, no, uh, Christmas present one year, and I was so excited to give it to him. So there's gems in secondhand bookstores sometimes. All right. Thank you. Amazing. Okay. Final question. Which author, living or dead, would you like to meet in person and why? Well, this one was kind of easy for me. I went with Oscar Wilde because oh, I'm kind of, in my own way, part of that trajectory and lineage of, you know, a, a gay man of my times that was fortunate enough to be learned and articulate and a, a, a public speaker. And I just, and no, I don't have his dandiness. It is <laughs> lots of things he does in his ass. I'd be really in awe of a lot of that. But I, I just, you know, that, that was for me somebody I'd really be interested to meet. Have you ever been to the, the famous cemetery in Paris where he's buried? It's Père Lachaise, and we actually went there, and I saw his, because I'm a big Oscar Wilde fan, and I saw his 
his like stone or whatever. It's massive. And apparently some patron of his paid for it or something. I don't know. Wow. But yeah. Yeah, it's At really that time, amazing. what that would have meant, hey? Eh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's really amazing. Well, Mark, thank you. You answered our five questions. We are so happy, again, as Tara said, to have you be our first reader repartee celebrity. So we are so thankful for that. And we just overall want to thank you for everything. We want to thank you for, and I'm going to let you jump in too, Tara, but I want to, we want to thank you for your passion about reading and books and the way you researched it and thought about it and articulated it because it was just the best thing ever. I, as an American who, I'm sorry, but I didn't know who you were. I am so thankful to have gotten to know you just to, through a couple of interviews because you are just an amazing person. We, I just love you. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad to you. Thank you. Yeah, this oh. is this has been so much fun, Mark. It's a, I did know, and I watched the Olympics, and this was just such a treat to like get to speak to you twice. And uh, after our first time, everyone I met for the next two weeks, I was like, <laughs> I spoke to Mark Tewksbury, and he is delightful. I'm like, delightful. <laughs> Go and Wikipedia then, this guy. Yeah, no, then no. Everyone was like, really? Stop. I'm like, yes. So now this was just when Rebecca set this up, we were both so excited. It's it's just been pretty amazing. It's been and amazing. for me, it's like the wrap of the bow. Thank you so much. Oh. You were part of the whole Canada Reads experience. Oh. So thanks for letting me kind of debrief. Thank you. Well, thank you so much and best wishes on everything you do in the future. And if you do go back and listen to our podcast where you got voted off, Tara and I said that if you and Rob ever start a book club, we want to be members. <laughs> so please <laughs> listen mine. <laughs> awesome. So great. Keep reading, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.